相撲を抜けてたどり着いたのは見たことのない失われた大地ソニックロストワールド Wii U と任天堂 t e n d o 3 d s で登場今度のソニックはスピード感そのままより楽しくより爽快に全てがリニューアル360度新感覚音速アクションへと生まれ変わったに浮かぶ不思議な大地ではその全てが奇想天外見たことのない新鮮な驚きが満載だ幻の大陸を襲う最強の敵ロッケ州救い出せるのは君しかいない走れソニック流れるような新アクションパルクール壁を登る壁を走るそして飛び越える自然と繰り出されるスーパーアクションが超爽快3段階のスピードを使い分けて初心者にも安心好みのスピードで華麗にフィールドを駆け抜けよう新たなカラーパワーを駆使して手ごわいステージを突破せよアステロータリズムイーグルボムクイックライトリング Wii U 版では Wii U ゲームパッドを使ってカラーパワーをダイレクトに操ろう転がしたりタッチで跳ねたり傾けたり思わぬところでアイテム発見 Wii U ゲームパッドだけでのプレイヤー2つの画面を使っての対戦もラジコンを使って2人での協力プレイミーバースでアイテムを放流して世界のみんなに使ってもらおう帰ってくる頃には思わぬパワーアップをしているかも任天堂 t e n d o 3 d s 版では携帯ゲーム機でシリーズ初の 3D フィールドアクションを実現ステージクリアで手に入るマテリアルを使ってアイテムやラジコンを生産ラジコンを生産できるのは任天堂 t e n d o 3 d s 版だけ作ったラジコンは Wii U 版に転送して遊ぼうさらに4人同時対戦にも対応みんなと繰り広げる白熱バトルが超熱い初めての君にも刺激を求めるあなたにもこれまでにないソニックの大冒険不思議な世界で繰り広げられる奇想天外360度の音速アクションソニックロストワールド新たな世界で新たな興奮が待っている Wii U 版だけのスペシャルダウンロードコンテンツ、漏れなくプレゼント。Hey, what's up, everyone? k a b a n r a n u 456 here today, bringing you all another news update for Sonic Lost World for the Nintendo Wii U and 3DS. So, got to see this new trailer yesterday as it was shown off at the、uh, Tokyo Game Show. And my gosh, was I extremely hyped after seeing this trailer. This was without a doubt the best trailer that's been released. And while all the dialogue is Japanese, we still got a lot of stuff revealed. And after watching this, I can just say my excitement levels are at an all time high for this game. This game is just going to be absolutely amazing. So we got to see in the first few seconds of the trailer that CGI cutscenes are back. And. We see Eggman obviously carrying something through the sky while he's in his little egg pod or whatever it is, Eggmobile, I can't recall what it's called.、Um, we see him dragging something in the sky and Tails and Sonic crash landing as their、uh, X Tornado has been shot. So I'm guessing that Eggman must have shot them down and they decided to crash land into the Lost World, just exactly as I predicted in one of my previous news updates. And then. 
We got to see a ton of brand new gameplay in this trailer showing off both versions of the game, uh, new stages, and the new stage we got to see was the world that I had uh, been talking about in the previous episode because we saw Master Zeke in this tropical like beach-like world, and it turns out it was just that. To where this stage actually does look very similar to Galaxy, I gotta admit. Uh, it, it just really does. The first thing I saw when Sonic landed on uh, kind of like this platform in the sky, I just felt like it looked extremely like Galaxy. Which ain't a bad thing, because you know, I mean, Galaxy is one of the best, um, you know, series ever in like gaming history. One of the highest rated too, so, you know, it's good to take inspiration from that, honestly. But, uh... My gosh, that stage looks absolutely gorgeous. It's so much exploration, you know, that you can do around there because the world is just so huge, so expansive. You know, you can run up walls and stuff. It's awesome. Then we also got to see uh, cutscenes of where uh, Eggman was interacting with the Deadly Six to where we saw the others except for two of them. Uh, I can't recall their names. I always forget the names. Uh, we can see the rest of them are blacked out, so I don't know what exactly is going on, but apparently they have no color in them. So maybe that's something that's tied to the plot, as we've seen uh, in, you know, previous, you know, cutscenes to where it shows some of the Deadly Six blacked out. But, oh man, all that Beach World gameplay, man. That stage has me so excited. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Like... I can't stress enough how excited I am for that stage. That looks to be the best stage in the game, graphically, overall. And also, we got confirmation that 3D water sections are going to be in the game. So, uh, we actually got to see the Drill Wisp being used in 3D. So this is actually one of the... Well, I don't know if you can technically call it a water stage, as it seems like there's a lot of beach, but I'm pretty sure there are probably going to be some underwater you know, stages in the game, like underwater acts or something like that. So this could very well possibly be the first uh, 3D underwater stage in the Sonic game. I know a lot of people were like, you know, Sonic Adventure, the Dreamcast had, you know, like, water sections that were 3D that you could go under, but it was like, it, they weren't exactly wa water stages, if you know what I mean. So I'm hoping that this game actually has, like, a complete water stage that you have to explore through. But uh, we got to see that, the Drill Wisp actually being playable in 3D. And then also we got to see all of the Wisps uh, power-ups that are going to be in this game. This, this trailer was basically a ginormous overview over everything that's uh, in this game, pretty much. So we got to see all the Wisps, like we finally got to actually see how the Rock Wisp is going to work. Kind of just rolls around like a ball, you can do like ground pounds, and then you can do like a charge-up roll apparently, like a spin dash almost. So that was actually really cool to see. Then we also got to see the Bomb Wisp once again, which we had seen in the previous trailer. And, uh, yeah. Also, apparently it seems like they use the gyroscope controls, as we got to see the Wii, you know, gamepad kind of being, being moved all over the place to, uh, do certain tasks with, or do certain movements with the, uh, Wisp power-ups. Then we also got to see the multiplayer mode, to where there's two-player versus mode, two-player co-op. And then, apparently, the 3DS version is going to have something that looks very similar to a battle arena. I have no idea what that exactly is based off of, but apparently, you know, there's something going on there. Then, also, we got to see the hub world of the entire world of the game. So we got to see, it was very hard to see because there's text blocking, but we obviously, des we see uh, Desert Ruins, we see Windy Hill Zone, we see Frozen Factory right there. We see the uh, beach stage down below. There's uh, there's something else around there. I don't know what that is, but if you look up top, there in fact is a lava world, just as I talked about, as we've seen in uh, previous pictures. So this is probably the only stage that we have not seen yet, the lava world. And I'm really excited to see what this stage is going to look like, because we can see there's obviously a volcano there and everything, so it's going to be really, really awesome. I'm hoping there are going to be some like really sick lighting effects. So yeah, we got to see that in the uh, Hub World pick on the menu. And then what else did we get to see? I'm trying to think, because there was just so much in this. It was just like yesterday, I was like, my body was not ready for it. It was just like... My pants! My pants! <laughs> um, 
So we got to see that, and uh, got to see some more 3DS gameplay footage. Like I said, there's like a 3D battle arena or something like that that looks kind of interesting. I don't know how that's going to play out, but it's basically four-player mode, and uh, it looks interesting, but I don't know how it's going to play out, honestly. Then we got to see a ton more, you know, cutscene gameplay footage. Um, and then we also got to see the stage, uh, you know, the stage um, that looks like Donkey Kong Country Returns somewhat to where all the characters and enemies are like silhouettes and then you have the background behind you. Yeah, it looks like Sonic has one of those stages now. Um, don't know if it's exactly uh, tied to that one dude, that emo looking Deadly Six dude. But uh, it looks very similar to the boss fight that we saw in the last trailer, to where you're fighting against him, and uh, it would black out at times, so where Sonic and everything would turn into a silhouette. Then, uh, yeah, like I said, we got to see more cutscene footage, to where we see Sonic kind of like jumping on the X-Tornado, Eggman pulling out the gun, the Deadly Six interacting with each other, all kinds of stuff. So this could actually be a very dark Sonic game, unlike many of the other Sonic games that we've played recently, like Generations and Sonic Colors. And then we got to see our first glimpse of Amy going to be in this game, as we already knew Amy was going to be in this game, but we finally got a glimpse, and apparently she looks very deeply concerned about something. She's holding uh, Tails' like little gamepad wannabe like, copy right there. And something is sucking out all the color and life in this world. So maybe this is part of the Deadly Six's plan or Eggman's plan that he ha was going to have with the Deadly Six? Who knows? Because while the Deadly Six, you know, we're gonna team up with Eggman and try and take down the Deadly Six, I'm pretty sure Eggman still has a master plan left. And it could be something with this ginormous mechanism, um, this ginormous, like, uh, machine that we saw in this trailer right here. But yeah, so, that about wraps it up for everything that we saw in the trailer, you know, quick overview of everything. And then also, oh yeah, at the end of the trailer, by the way, we could see, uh, I think his name is Zivok or something like that? I, I can't recall, Zavok, that's right, Zavok, with, uh... Wiseman, Master Wiseman. So apparently Wiseman's going to be in the Knights into Dreams DLC. And uh, they're most likely going to be tied in some sort of way. But the biggest thing that I've noticed that some people are actually noticing, but not everyone is, is that if you look carefully on the 27 second mark, um, actually wait a second, not the 27 second mark, uh, what mark is it? I'm trying to recall in the trailer. Um, right in the beginning to where it shows the Wii U gamepad and uh, 3DS around like 18 second mark. You can see on 3DS's uh, bottom screen, there are Chaos Emeralds right there. All seven of them in fact. So obviously, Super Sonic is confirmed playable in all of the 3DS stages for Sonic Lost World. There, there, that's pretty freaking awesome. I'm surprised I actually missed that, but... That's huge confirmation because so many people ask me, do you think Super Sonic is going to be in this game? I wasn't exactly sure as, you know, this game seems to be like a sequel to Sonic Colors, but there we go, confirmation right there. And then, a few seconds later, right after that, if you look on the Wii U gameplay footage, if you look in the top right hand corner on the beach stage at the 26 second mark, you can see the Chaos Emeralds are there too on the top right hand corner of the screen. So obviously... Super Sonic is confirmed for the Wii U stages, and he can be playable whenever you get the 50 rings. Because if you actually keep looking through the trailer and uh, look at the top right corner, you're going to keep seeing that, uh, you know, Chaos Emeralds logo up there. And then at one point, Sonic has actually over 50 rings on the beach stage, and the Chaos Emeralds are lit up, meaning that uh, Super Sonic is ready to uh, be activated whenever you want. So... There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Super Sonic is back in this game, going to be playable on all stages, super excited. Now, the only thing is that we don't know if that's going to be, uh, Super Sonic is going to be, um, playable on the final boss, because as we know in Sonic Colors, he had the, uh, unlimited colors power-up instead of the actual, uh, you know, Super Sonic final boss, like Generations. So, I don't know how Super Sonic is going to play in this game. I think it would be really awesome if, instead of the spin dash, he had the boost whenever he held the R trigger. And uh, his parkour abilities were, like, unlimited. Like, I think that would be really awesome just to see him 
completely OP'd. Only thing I don't want to see is his ring consumption going down extremely fast when you boost. Because then, if that's the case, there is no point, in my opinion, to playing as Supersonic. That's when it's not even going to be fun. Because whenever I play Generations without the mods on the PC version, Supersonic was extremely annoying to play with. And uh, he just consumed his ring so fast. It wasn't even worth playing him. So it wasn't even like a treat at all. It was like an, it was like a downgrade from Modern Sonic's gameplay. So I'm really hoping that's not the case with this game, but... You know, hey, at least Supersonic is actually finally confirmed. But that wraps it up for this news update video, so thank you all so much for watching. Please remember to comment, like, and subscribe so you for more vids, walkthroughs, and updates. If you didn't notice anything that I missed during this trailer, let me know in the comments below. would love to hear your thoughts, what you all think about the new trailer that we saw today. Was it uh, the best one that we've seen so far, in your opinion? And are you excited about seeing Supersonic confirmed for the, uh, the next version? Uh, the next uh, Sonic game right there, Sonic Lost World. Yeah. Uh, like I said, make sure to drop a like. It really, really helps out a ton to get these news updates, more exposure, and, uh, can't thank you all enough for the support that you all, uh, always show for these news updates. But, uh, yeah, wraps it up. Thanks again. See you all. Have a good day. Peace! Come on, Nermites.